Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the Ingroup in Phoenix, Arizona. Time to do the new arrival video for July 22nd, 2022. So, massive amount of stuff came in this week. A lot of this stuff was actually probably due last week, but came in late. And I also got a pretty big restock from Analog Productions, which I'll show you at the end. A lot of good titles there. A uh, couple SA CDs as well, and one CD. And again, like you guys, I've talked about this many times in the past. I typically don't carry CDs, but I do like to get the indie exclusive autograph CDs. So this is James Bay's new album, Leap. And these are autographed. So I like to, I mean, I think this is great. It's sad that they don't do it as an LP that's autographed, but you know, they don't need help selling LPs. They do need help selling CDs. Partially probably the reason they do it. Okay, Analog Productions, SACDs, Blue Train, and Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? There we go, Blue Train, <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, Are You Experienced? Uh, so we carry a lot of SACDs. If you go on to the website, you can just type in SACD, pull up everything. You can even sort by what's in stock. So there's a lot of, you know, we carry the Analog Productions, Impex, Mobile Fidelity. So there's a lot of SACDs on there. Let's talk about the restocks. How about Leaf Hound? Go online and look up what the original one of these costs. Woo, that's, that's a pricey record. So yeah, 50th anniversary, limited edition, green vinyl pressing. Includes notes and interviews. This is an import. All right, this is a pre-order from a while back. Actually, this one wasn't. This is the standard vinyl version of uh, House of Pain. Fine malt lyrics with Jump Around. It's a deluxe version of this floating around in here as well. Fame on fire. Welcome to the chaos. Download card included on red vinyl. Okay, Bonnie Taylor. Total Eclipse of the Heart. I actually dig Bonnie Taylor. Uh, so this is the Total Eclipse of the Heart. This is like a super duper 12 inch. So four tracks on each side. No, four, nine tracks total. Uh, two different songs. So we've got Total Eclipse of the Heart, instrumental, orchestral version, a cappella version, and then a remix. Then we got Holding Out for a Hero, another one of our great hits. Instrumental, a cappella, and the club remix. So this is uh, pretty much a 12 inch single of her, two of her biggest hits on gold vinyl. Bob Marley, 10 legendary tracks reimagined on limited edition 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. Alan Parsons from the New World. We have Jack White's new album, Entering Heaven Alive. Nice and flat. We got this, uh, supposed to have it last week. They all came dished. It was pretty obvious from the box. So we sent them back and got a new shipment and these are uh, looking pretty good. So yeah. Counting Crows. This is a title that I haven't had in the store in like years, but it just popped back into, uh, into the distributor's catalog. So uh, Counting Crows, Somewhere Under Wonderland. All right, Keshi, Gabrielle. We have Surfaces, Pacifico on, let me see, Indie White Vinyl. Haunting the Chapel, reissued by Slayer. This is a red and black split colored vinyl. And it includes a large poster as well. It's kind of a special color, special edition. Man, this sold out uber quick last week, or maybe it was the week before and I got a restock on it. Uh, Jethro Tull's Aqualung, the 2011 Steve Wilson stereo remix. I'm pretty confident that this is probably universally considered a major upgrade compared to the original mix. Visage, remastered limited edition of 500 on blue and gray splattered vinyl. Now including two bonus tracks. Super limited, 500. Okay, so I showed these two records. They sold out instantaneously. A lot of people asked if I was going to get them back in stock. I got them back in stock about a week ago, but I figured I'd show them to 
you again. This is just a great Afro funk record from Benign, the legendary psychedelic funk LP. So this is a Fairy Jimny. Really good. Uh, there's some of this is available online too if you just want to get a sample of it. But I really enjoyed this. This though was cherry. This is unbelievable. So men, men kunku menuku quartet, something along those lines. Uh, a timeless South African jazz masterpiece. So, you know, this isn't a guy, in all honesty, I was familiar with. Apparently, he is kind of, you know, he's he's like Fela Kute over there. He's a big, big deal. This record not only sounded really good, uh, it's well done. You know, it's a heavy cardboard tip-on jacket. It's by Mr. Bongo, but uh, special half-speed remastered at Abbey Road. So... You know, this was a great, musically, this is just a great record. Again, something you can stream online. Uh, I got a lot of compliments. People really dug dug this record. The Jesus and Mary Chain, Damage and Joy. This is the deluxe edition remastered on vinyl. Uh, colored 180 gram double, three bonus tracks, 15 page booklet. Definitely a heavy duty you know, heavy-duty cardboard cover for sure. Okay, Slipknot. The Gray Chapter, point five. I feel like this is a limited edition pink vinyl. Yeah, I saw it has a little bit of a, has a sticker over the original barcode, so. The Kooks, 10 tracks to echo in the dark. Uh, indie exclusive on clear vinyl. From Culture Factory, which always sell out very quickly, they're one-time pressings. In this case, they're doing, how many copies of these are they doing? Man, normally they tell you the copy quantity on the jacket, but on the little Obi strip, but they didn't in this case. But the Buckingham's kind of a drag, you know, with the big lead single, kind of a drag. But it's a one-time pressing on yellow and gold smoke-colored vinyl. Although in the photograph there, it kind of just looks like a yellow yellow record. Another indie record exclusive of Sierra Farrell, Long Time Coming. This is on Serenity Blue Vinyl, limited to 2000. So yeah, Serenity Blue. She and Him. A tribute to Brian Wilson. You know, uh, this might be pretty good. I'm going to have to give this a listen to. I love the Beach Boys. And yeah, don't worry, Br you know, doing kind of more of Brian's bitter, deeper songs. Don't worry, baby. Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'll give this a try. And back, got the very tail end of this run. The Wild Times. I saw a few people paid 70, 80 bucks for this. I'm not 100% sure why. Well, I mean, it is a fantastic record. Sounds fantastic. It's all AAA analog, cut directly from the original two-track master tape by Bernie, Bernie Grunman. Stap, stout and tip on jacket. I only did 2,000 of them. But, uh, yeah, it's the project, the record that I did with John Dixon of Ramco. Uh, I told you guys a while back. This is the final batch, so I want to say this was a two and a half to three year process from beginning to end, from when we started this, order wise, ordering this, to when we got the very last batch, quantity wise, of what we had scheduled to come in. We did 2,000 of them. Most of them came in the last run, but uh, yeah, we uh, finally got the last amount of them. All analog, good record. I would tell you parts of this are available to stream online, but they just, the tracks online versus this sound so atrocious. They're not even near the quality of what uh, Bernie Grunman cut onto this. So yeah, I recommend it, but I'm biased, so it's a good record. And I mean, it even has the legendary, absolutely legendary production supervisor, Michael Esposito. So... That in itself is like, you know, you see Michael Esposito as the production supervisor, and it's, I mean, that's an automatic buy, if you ask me. 
but again, I might be biased. All right, Neil Young's newest old studio album, Toast. Seven track Crazy Horse 2001 studio album with six unreleased tracks and three unreleased songs. Part of the Neil Young archive. Source, something I've been calling for and I'm going to continue to call for. I press MoFi on it, got them to agree. Spoke to Chad at Analog Productions. He seems on board, but some sort of sparse code letting everybody know exactly the source material for the record they are purchasing. And in this case, mastered from original analog tapes. All right, Naz Magic. We also have a pretty solid reissue campaign going on from Motley Crue. So we have Too Fast for Love. This is the very first vinyl pressing of the 40th anniversary remaster. And we have Shout at the Devil. This is the first ever vinyl pressing of the 40th anniversary remaster. Theater of Pain, which is the 40th anniversary uh, first vinyl pressing of the remaster. What happened? Did the 40th anniversary occur uh, at the exact same, like all these records come out the same year? Okay. Girls, girls, girls. None of this stuff is in print, so this is good. I mean, these originals of this stuff are going for like ridiculous money. But we've got the first ever vinyl pressing of the 40th anniversary remaster. We've got Dr. Feelgood, 40th anniversary of uh, 40th anniversary first ever vinyl pressing. Okay, Prong, Rude Awakening from Music on Vinyl, a true story. Another Music on Vinyl Prong title, Prove You Wrong. And another Prong Music on Vinyl title, Beg to Differ. All right, Jedi Mind Tricks. We got here the funeral and I think that says Raven, but tough to read, tough to read. House of Pain. Now this is the deluxe edition to where, let's see, remastered, double disc, features the hit single Jump Around and five bonus cuts. Plus you get a free Jump Around jump rope with purchase. I'm assuming you mail away for that. I kind of got the feeling that it came with the jump rope, which I thought at the beginning. It's like, how in the world do you include a jump rope in the record? But yeah, so it includes free jump around with purchase. So I'm guessing you're going to have to mail away for that. Nice. It's, you know, embossed, spot gloss covered, and they're numbered to 6,500 on the back. Another track and release from Culture Factory. This one's only, you know, like I said, normally this is the case. One time pressing. Thousand copies worldwide. Angel Witch, self titled record. All right, ZZ Top, Brawl. The soundtrack to that little old band from Texas. I think that was on Netflix. I remember watching it a while back, but. All right, from Music on Vinyl, this is part of their Timeless Jazz series, Pharaoh Sanders Africa. Really well done. Has that canvas type cover. Looks like part of an old music on vinyl sticker, hype sticker got attached to the back. All right, and another music on vinyl, Timeless Jazz title, Pharaoh Sanders, Moonchild. Both of these have that same, one's, that's a double, this is a single. Both of them have that really nice canvas textured cover. Das Effects, Dead Serious, music on vinyl. These always come, because it's a European import, these always seem to come in batches. Probably just due to the way they ship them. This is limited edition of 2,000 individually numbered copies on purple colored vinyl. Flumes, places. Another pre-order title. Three long out of print plasmatic releases on one LP. This is the Vice Squad recordings. 
on transparent red vinyl. Oh yeah, and you got uh, the picture sleeves on the back. All right, what do we got here? Travi McCoy, never slept better. The Get Up Kids, Guilt Show. A record I never, ever, ever thought I'd see a reissue of, but vinyl, vinyl, baby, it's all in demand. Go West. 2022, vinyl remastered on limited edition clear of vinyl. But yeah, go West. Working Men's Club. Kind of got this half size, you know, half the jacket size Obi. Made in the EU. The Brothers Johnson, Strawberry Letter 23 on splatter vinyl. We got a little monkeys action here. Dolan's Jones, Boyce and Hart. The guy who sang them, and the guys who wrote them. Colored vinyl, two LP set. Yeah. Mob Depp, Mob Deep, Mob Depp. It's one of those two, I think. Infamy. Let's see, God is an astronaut. The beginning of the end, the name of the record. All right, so the always popular band, Death. I talked about this last week. I showed it to you, told you guys about it, but they weren't in yet. But let's see, we got Death. This is non-analog on stage. It's a series, essentially, of concerts, I believe. So yeah, we've got Montreal, 1995, double disc. And it's a whole series. So we got Belgium, 1991. Similar covers. That's a single disc. Another double disc. We got uh, New York, 88. We've got Tijuana, 1990. Let's see, is that another? And yeah, Third Eye Blind, a collection. The Cramps Flame Job. I'm pretty sure I showed you that last week. Talk Talk, The Party's Over. 40th Anniversary White Vinyl Edition. And actually, similar to those Feral Sanders records, this particular cover has that same linen-type texture to it. Okay, restock from Analog Productions. Lightning Hopkins. The Blues of Lightning Hopkins. Part of their Prestige series, Dynamite. And I can kind of show you one of the things that Analog Productions does to signify that they actually are using an analog tape to create this, is they actually put a sticker on it. Although this is something that I've told them, you know, this is, you know, you should reconsider putting it on the jacket. But as it stands now, analog symboled by the analog sticker. Also, Sprach Zarahustra, one of the most iconic, legendary American classical releases of all time. Dynamite, unbelievable sounding piece, sounds fantastic. Let's see, Wilson Audio, Sonatas for Violin and Piano. Leonard Skinner, from my top 100 in-print analog records you should own list, newly uh, shrunken. But uh, yeah, pronounced Leonard Skinner, 45 RPM. Unbelievably dynamite record. Amos Lee. And we've got Elvis is back. I'm actually starting to get a little bit excited. We're getting a little bit of a bump with Elvis. My man, he's selling more records. The movie's kind of helping him out, helping the family out, I guess, but it helps his legacy out. Elvis is back. Also from my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list, Dusty in Memphis. Unbelievable, good sounding record. I've waxed poetic about it quite a bit. One of the 
most desirable classical records on Capitol, a label that's not really known for classical records, but uh, Milstein's Masterpieces for Violin and Orchestra. Let's see, Winds of War and Peace, another uh, Wilson audiophile record. These are just, these are demo records for sure. Musically, some people might not be their bag, but you want to talk about unbelievably great sounding records. Everything in this Wilson series is dynamite. This is Dave Wilson, the founder of Wilson Speakers, was an engineer, and he actually had his own label. And you can imagine the guy who sells, you know, half a million dollar speakers probably had an ear for audio. So yeah, Bartok, another living stereo title. Let's see, Lysette, let's see, what is this? This is a reference recording. Another iconic, uh, another iconic label from probably the 80s, I think is when they had most of their, uh, most of their fame. That was kind of their heyday. So now kind of, yeah, by this logic, you almost kind of feel like, you know, no sticker, not analog. Might be a digital master. All right, Stevie Ray Vaughan, 45 RPM of Texas Flood. Great sounding record. Another living stereo title, Julian Bream. These are not to be slept on. I mean, I would recommend if you're kind of a casual ja a ca casual classical listener, there's a couple titles to tell try. That also sprocks Zarahustra. This Stokowski Rhapsodies is dynamite. This is a 45 RPM. You can get it both ways, 33, 45. 45 is definitely higher fidelity, but might not be a good starting record. A Stereo Spectacular. This is another unbelievably great demo quality record. And we got a decent amount of represses from the Prestige Mono and Stereo series. John Coltrane with a Red Garland Trio. Sonny Rollins, Tenor Madness. Got a really nice early pressing of this on the website. Super clean. Not cheap, but got the OG. Let's see. Another accessible classical title. Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Coltrane on Prestige. And let's see, Sonny Rollins, Saxophone Colossus. Love Sonny Rollins, probably the best record on Prestige. Although a lot of people actually view this as maybe his best record. I actually prefer Way Out Rest, Way Out West. And one of my top five demo records, Roger Waters' Amuse the Death. Now this is actually a record that is a digital record. You can see it does not have the Analog Master sticker. But this is unbelievable. This is one of the best sounding records you will ever hear. It's one of those records that I use to test my system when I get a new piece of gear in. But yeah, that is it. Check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.